so in the order of discussion that what are the orbital parameters which affect the communication performance between satellite and the earth station so there are some regions and these regions i am listing these regions here we will discuss these regions in today's lecture so first one is the doppler shift so doppler shift is the shifting in the frequency so actually due to the orbital path and due to the moment of a satellite the frequency of incoming signal is shifted from the original frequency and due to that shifting of the frequency the communication hampers so how doppler doppler shift affects the communication we will discuss in next slide then some other reasons are the range variation the range variation means the distance between the earth station and the satellite it changes with time to time so in some multiple access technique like in tdma time diffusion multiple access for a single frame the distance is somewhat suppose the distance is x and for the next frame the distance is changes so for the subsequent frames of the message the distance between the earth station and the satellite changes that creates some communication problems so we will discuss that thing also then next one is the solar eclipse solar eclipse means the time period when a satellite comes in the shadow of the earth that means the direct sunlight when the direct sunlight is not available to a satellite that period is considered as the solar eclipse time period for that particular satellite so how that solar eclipse time hampers the communication we will discuss that that thing also and next one is the sun transit outages so the sun outage condition is exactly opposite condition to the solar eclipse that means the when the when earth earth station microwave satellite and the sun all three are in same plane or in same direction then the sun outage or sun transit outage happens so we will discuss that how all these four things all these four conditions affects the communication by satellite so the first orbital effect on the communication system between the earth station and satellite is the doppler shift so what is the doppler shift doppler shift is related to the shifting in frequency so suppose when a observer is stationary or uh, uh, that one is a stationary observer generally the observer when i talk about the stationary observer that means the stationary earth station that means the earth station that is not moving with time that is the stationary observer in the case of satellite communication but the doppler shift is very much very much important term in radar or it is a crucial term in radar so basically radar is a acronym 
O, what is the full form of radar? Radar is the radio detection and ranging. That means in radar technology, a object can be detected and its distance can be calculated. And not only the object detected and the distance calculated, but it uh, the uh, it, the information about its moment pro, pro, uh, the the information about the moment of that object can also be find out that means a object speed can also be find out by using the technique doppler shift so a very much uh, uh, practical example of doppler shift is uh, uh, application of Doppler shift is used uh, when highway patrolling police checks your vehicle's speed. Like sometimes a policeman or the traffic man says that you were driving with over speed on highway at that particular point. So how that 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 speed was calculated? So that speed was calculated with the principle of Doppler shift. So what is the Doppler shift now? Doppler shift is that suppose there is a stationary observer and the object is moving. Suppose that object is moving, that is the object. Object is moving. Either it is moving in this direction, that direction, towards the observer or in the further direction of the observer, in any direction. If the object is moving and the uh, observer is, is stationary and when the actual transmitted frequency by the object is suppose Ft, Ft is the tr actual transmitted frequency then the received frequency from this object to the stationary observer will be fr so in one scenario when the observer is stationary with respect to object and the object is also stationary with respect to observer that means both the observer and object are stationary then the received frequency will be Ft, that means the received frequency will be exactly same as the transmitted frequency. But in this case, when the object is moving and the observer is stationary, then the received frequency is very much changed or very much varied from the transmitted frequency. So here we took the transmitted frequency as Ft and the received frequency is F R. So here the shifting in frequency, the shifting in frequency at observer point depends on the speed of the object. And again, suppose the object is moving towards the observer. If observer is moving towards the observer, then the received frequency will be higher to the transmitted frequency. And in the second case, when object is moving in the opposite direction to the observer, then received frequency will be less than transmitted frequency by the object. So that shifting in frequency is called the Doppler shift and all the working principle or the ranging, uh, ranging phenomena in radar depends on the Doppler shift of frequency. I hope you are aware about that radar and basic principle of radar. So here in our satellite communication we are talking here we are not interested in the radars, we are talking satellite communication.
so in satellite communication how that doppler shift affects the communication between the uh, earth station and the satellite so actually if you talk about that suppose this one is the earth and this one is the earth station with an antenna and suppose that one is one satellite so when this satellite is in suppose geostationary geo orbit then the moment of this satellite with respect to earth station is very minimum so for a geostationary earth orbit satellite the doppler shift is minimum and when we consider the meo and leo satellites so the leo satellites rotates or moves rotates with higher speed or the highest speed if we compare all these three type of orbits so due to that moment or that high speed the doppler shift in leo or low earth orbit satellites will be maximum and due to that shifting in the frequency the communication hampers why frequency is that important frequency is most important and most crucial parameter in any communication and especially in wireless communication so when we were talking about like a, uh, when we were talking about uh, satellites then i was saying that satellites particularly operates in microwave frequency range that microwave frequency range is in gigahertz frequency range like from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz and generally these satellites operates in c x or k u bands so suppose a particular satellite suppose this satellite is designed to operate in l band l band is from 1 to 2 gigahertz and the earth station for this satellite is also designed for l band so all the components at this earth station are designed for 1 to 2 gigahertz like this earth stations antennas and amplifiers receivers all are designed for the frequency ranging from 1 to 2 gigahertz but due to that doppler shift the incoming when the incoming frequency shifts from that designated frequency that creates the problem so that's how the moment of a satellite creates the doppler shift and that's how the doppler shift creates a problem in the communication link between the satellite and the earth station so mathematically the relation between the transmitted and received frequency these are the fr and ft transmitted and the received frequencies relationship can be written mathematically also like that fr minus ft divided by ft will be equals to vt divided by vp where fr is the received frequency fr is the received frequency ft is the transmitted frequency then what are that capital vt and the small vp 
सो कैपिटल विटी इज द वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट वेलोसिटी ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट टूवर्ड टूवर्ड्स ऑब्जर्वर एंड वॉट इज द स्मॉलर बीपी बीपी इज द फेज वेलोसिटी फेज वेलोसिटी ऑफ द ट्रेवलिंग वेव फेज वेलोसिटी ऑफ ई एम वेव सो ई एम वेव फेज वेलोसिटी इन फ्री स्पेस इज कंसिडर्ड एज सी एंड सी इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली थ्री इन टू टेन रेज पावर एट मीटर पर सेकेंड सो वॉट इज वीटी कैपिटल विटी विटी इज द वेलोसिटी कंपोनेंट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट टूवर्ड्स द ऑब्जर्वर दैट इज विटी सो दिस रिलेशनशिप दैट एफ आर माइनस एफ टी कैन बी रिटर्न एज डेल एफ दैट मीन्स चेंज इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी और शिफ्ट इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवाइडेड बाई ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रीक्वेंसी will be equals to velocity of the object towards the observer divided by speed of light or speed of electromagnetic wave or the phase velocity of electromagnetic wave so from here you can say you can see that whenever the velocity or whenever the object is moving towards the observer then vt will be positive velocity will be positive that's why fr will be greater than ft so that's why in this case we take fr is greater than ft and when the object moves in opposite direction to the observer in this direction in the opposite direction then definitely vt will be negative so when in this relationship see in this relationship that when vt will be negative that means the fr will be less than ft so that's why i have written fr is less than ft when objects move in the outward direction or in the further direction from the observer so here from here from this relationship the shifting in the frequency can be written as vt divided by vp multiplied to ft or it can be written as ft vt divided by c vp is c and c by f is wavelength so it can be written in the terms of wavelength also here lambda is the operating wavelength operating wavelength so that is the doppler shift or doppler effect or simply sometimes it is it is said doppler only so that was given by the german physicist and uh, uh, first time he studied the phenomena of doppler shift in the sound waves and as we have discussed that this doppler shift is dominant in leo and mio type of satellites whereas in the geostationary earth orbit satellites the effects of doppler shifts is very little on the communication channel